Hello everyone, I'm here again to bring you more paleo news. Let's start with a fossil spider that was found in China. It is the largest fossilized spider that has ever been found, and it's named Nephila jurassica. Nephila is a genus that still survives, survives today. This one was about one inch long and had five inch legs. It uh, said it could build uh, webs around five feet long, or that was either the modern, I bet, I bet they both can, the modern and the prehistoric one. They say uh, that, oh, but this one lived in Jurassic, in the Jurassic period. <laughs> uh, they say not only does the size make it very unique, but the way it was preserved, it was preserved in great detail in volcanic ash, and some of the mouth parts were preserved, and little tiny hairs on the body were also preserved, making it one of the best known fossil spiders discovered. And this one's cool because uh, I believe they found a fossilized scorpion that was thought to be a spider. And that was said to be the largest spider, but they found out it was a scorpion, so that spider doesn't exist. And with this spider, we're getting closer to finding that giant spider that we thought existed long ago. <laughs> so there are a couple articles in the description about this spider, and uh, yeah, that's it. It's pretty cool. And some months ago, they did a study with uh, using ichthyosaurs and using their teeth trying to figure out uh, the temperature of the ocean during the Mesozoic era. Where well, it sort of did the same thing with uh, Serenians, the animals that include manatees and dugons and things like that. They took 150 different individuals from 50 million years ago all the way up until today, uh, and using their teeth, uh, trying to figure out what the temperature or what Earth was like in the Eocene period, or epoch, or whatever it's called, I don't remember. <laughs> And uh, used by the teeth using uh, finding out the oxygen 16, oxygen 18, all that stuff. Uh, they determined that Earth was much more wet and much more humid. The overall atmosphere is really more humid than, than you've seen it is today. And you can read the whole entire thing down below. And that's all the paleo news I have for you this week. Uh, I will be back again. And until next time, have a groovy day.